Hello, my name is Leo from TL Lab. I wish you welcome to the next episode of Popular Science. For the purpose of science popularization, I made this particle accelerator. Behind it is transformer, which converts low voltage in a high of about 15,000 volts. Here are electrodes connected on it. Particle accelerator can accelerate any kind of particles, but here we actually have electrons acceleration. Electric current, precisely electrons, goes through adapter and transformer. Then it comes on cathode, negative electrode of accelerator, and moves from cathode to anode, positive electrode of accelerator. That is electron flow direction, from minus to plus. Cathode has arrow shape to make the most of electrons coming out from the top of cathode and going on the shortest route to anode. Likewise cathode, anode has ring shape to make the most of electrons go in and further go in current direction to plus. However, electrons can't come from cathode to anode if there is air in accelerator. So accelerator has to be vacuumed to make all the molecules of gases from the air go out of the accelerator. Otherwise, air particles will be stopping electrons on their way to anode. On the end of accelerator, is target coated with the layer of phosphorus, which is ex excited when bombarded with electrons. On this target are coming electrons which are accelerated and mishit the anode and went through it. As a result, the green light on the target will appear. This physical phenomenon is called fluorescence. Now we will vacuum the accelerator and then with foot switch I'll turn on the power. You can see the plasma in area between cathode and anode and around the anode ring. You can also notice phosphorus which is all over the accelerator but the strongest glow is on the target. Anode couldn't have received them, so they didn't return in the normal current direction as most of other electrons and they carried on their way. Now you will see how I made this accelerator. As the first step, we need to drill one hole in this bottle for anode. For that drilling, we'll use this diamond coated grinder. Now we are going to drill the hole. Tommy, please, can you help uh, me hold the bottle for me? Now we made the hole and we're going to make and. Now to make anode wire. And uh, that's uh, anode. And now bending cathode wire.
Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel.